Welcome to another exciting video from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Today's top 12 upcoming horror movies of 2022 will be explored in thorough detail. Hey horror fans, the long wait is over. 2022 is knocking at our doors, and it is bringing with it a long list of horror films that have been eagerly waiting to watch for a long time. Now that the film release has scheduled and has started gaining normalcy, the horror films about to be released in 2022 have already begun to intrigue and excite horror fans. Films like The New Scream and the Halloween trilogy, Final Movie, and many more unique films in the classic franchise and original content are about to be released from talented filmmakers like Jordan Peele, Robert Eggers, and many more. Buzz is in the air regarding the facts and features of these films. As everyone is looking forward to the sequels, adaptations, and spine-chilling tales to appear in the theaters next year, let us take a look at the top upcoming horror movies of 2022 that will rock you to the core. Are you ready for the adrenaline rush? Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Crooked Man. Who can forget the character from the British nursery rhyme, The Crooked Man from Conjuring 2, tied to a zoetrope toy owned by the Hodgson family, the feature of Javier Botet. Now we have the upcoming American unearthly horror film, The Crooked Man, which we will be likely a spin-off to The Conjuring 2 and the ninth installment in The Conjuring universe. The script is written by Mike Van Wace and directed by Peter Sanfran and James Wan. Sanfran had stated earlier that out of both characters in Conjuring 2, the fans had preferred the character of Nun to the Crooked Man for a spinoff. Hence, making the Crooked Man was not their priority, but eventually everything changed, and here we have the Crooked Man banging at our door, ready to be released next year. Is that you? From the glimpses of the scenes released in the film's teaser, we can see a teacher asking a group of children whether they know that the song that kills them if they sing it. Suddenly, the light goes out and the kid shouts at the top of her voice. Then we can see the crooked man appearing before a terrorized young girl, Olivia Shaw. The girl is then accused of murdering her friend as she keeps on repeating that it was the crooked man who had actually been murdered. We see a mutilated dead body and a group of women being tormented by some cruel, unearthly force, which is none other than the crooked man. The lives of all the girls who were present on the cursed night were being taken away one by one. Juan had stated that the film's sole purpose was to produce a dark fairy tale and it is ready to hit the theaters in 2022, though the exact release date is not yet known. The Black Phone. Next on the list, we have another supernatural horror film, The Black Phone, directed by Scott Derrickson and C. Robert Cargo. Derrickson dropped out of the Doctor Strange and the Multi-Universe of Madness due to his differences with the Marvel Studios. Consequently, he joined the project on The Black Phone with Cargo. The filming began in February 2021, and the film was premiered at Fantastic Fest on September 25th, 2021, and is scheduled to be released in February of 2022. The film is set in the 1970s when five children went missing in a suburban Colorado town. Finney Shaw is the next kid abducted by the serial killer and is hidden in a soundproof basement. I was the kid. I'll scream. I'll scratch your face. This face? Shaw discovers a disconnected phone through which the voices of the killer's previous victims are transmitted. They are all trying to help Finney escape from the clutches of the killer. Meanwhile, his sister seemed to have reoccurring visions that might lead the way to finding her sibling. The film had received quite positive reviews for being a close adaptation of the source story. The antagonist Ethan Hawke performance was also highly appreciated, and the other stars of the film are Mason Thames as Finney, Shaw, and Madeline McGraw as Gwen Shaw. The poster of the film features the villain Grabber in a painted face and mask with the tagline, Never talk to strangers. It indeed was pretty terrifying watching the poster. Well, it would be interesting to see the movie to see if it lives up to the expectations it created. Help me! Unwelcome, the next anticipated film to join the list in the spine-chilling Irish movie Unwelcome, 
from the Warner Brothers UK, directed by John Wright and written by Mark Stay. The movie brings back the Irish and Scottish folklore stories about goblins, but these goblins are not all that cute and funny as we often find in animated movies, but vicious, monstrous creatures that can make people's life hell. The film follows Maya and Jamie, who were fed up with the busy, insensitive urban life and moved to the Irish countryside to seek peace and tranquility. Unfortunately, life had something else planned for them. Every day. Soon they found that they were unwelcome in their new neighborhood, and the wood at the front of their garden was home to monstrous goblins who made their life miserable. The neighbors warned them that the goblins appear when they are asked for help, but the help comes at a terrible price, and in an advanced stage of pregnancy, Maya had to take extreme measures to protect her unborn child. The film stars Hannah John Kamen as Maya and Douglas Booth as Jamie. The film is rated R and MPAA due to excessive violence and gore abusive language, drug abuse, and sexual content. The film is set to be released in theaters in March 2022. The countdown has started as people are ready to welcome the film Unwelcome. Firestarter Stephen King's novels have always dominated the mainstream horror genre. Among the upcoming Stephen King movies, one of the most awaited films is Firestarter. The novel, which was first published in 1980, has been one of the favorite horror stories of horror fans. The novel was first adapted in 1984 by director Mark L. Lester and Drew Barrymore, David Keith, and George C. Scott in the lead roles. In 2002, a sequel was created as a miniseries titled Firestarter rekindled. This movie will be the third film based on the same novel. To date, Blumhouse Productions has made only one movie titled Mercy in 2007 based on the short story Grandma by Stephen King. This would be the second Stephen King adaptation by Blumhouse Production. The film is to be directed by Keith Thomas and written by Scott Teams. Zac Efron, stars for the first time in a horror movie, is playing the main male lead role. The plot follows Andy McGee, who develops psychic powers after being experimented on by a secret government entity called The Shop. After Andy met the love of his life, he settled down and became the proud parent of a daughter who also gained the power of setting things on fire with her mind. The Shop was desperate to get them back. Apart from The Shop, the central antagonist, John Rainbird, an independent contractor, was hired by The Shop to hunt down McGee, but he was a psychopath who had other plans for the young girl with special powers. The other lead actors include Ryan Kiera Armstrong as Charlie McGee, Michael Gray Eyes as John Rainbird, and Sidney Lemon as Victoria McGee. <laughs> Jeepers Keepers Reborn the fourth film as a reboot in the Jeepers Creepers film series is the upcoming horror film Jeepers Creepers Reborn, written by Shawn Michael Argo and directed by Timo Veronsola. This is supposed to be the first of the new trilogy series, but without the involvement of Victor Salva, who had directed the first trilogy of Jeepers Creepers. The first trilogy features the Creeper, a devilish creature, and a mysterious serial killer featured by Jonathan Breck. In the new film, the role of Creeper is featured by Gabriel Freelich. The movie unfolds with the Horror Hound Festival, which is being held for the first time in Louisiana. Hundreds of freaks and horror fans have arrived from far off distances to attend the festival. One such diehard horror fan is Chase, who has come with his girlfriend Lane, who was forced to join the festival. But as the events progress, Lane begins to get intuitions and terribly disturbing premonitions about the town's past. The local legendary myth, the Creeper, keeps haunting her visions and soon, Lane believes that some supernatural being has been summoned surrounding her. We have Sydney Craven as Lane and Imran Adams as Chase. The fans are genuinely excited and thrilled to revisit the world of Creepers with a scarier version from a new director. Some of the filming was done in Louisiana while the remaining shooting was completed in the UK. A new truck has been used in this film, discarding the truck used in the first two films. I look up and I catch what falls out of the sky. Prey, Predator Prequel. Prey is the next film in the Predator universe, which is set to release on Hulu in the United States in the summer 
of 2022. The reports about the film was in the air for quite some time, but the first look and title was announced as a part of the Disney Plus promotional event. With an indigenous woman protagonist, the film is produced by Jane Myers, John Fox, and John Davis, while it is directed by Dan Trachtenberg, known for his work on 10 Cloverfield Lane. The Predator series was launched long back when its first film released in 1987, featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger. After that, there had been various sequels and crossovers, with the recent film being The Predator in 2018. The series highlights a highly advanced extraterrestrial race known as The Predator. He requires the best prey of the galaxy, and this time their choice is the human beings. The film's official logline states that the timeline of the film is set 300 years ago, where it follows the skilled warrior, Nehru, who is ready to protect her tribe from the wrath of the highly evolved alien predators. This film is supposed to be the prequel of the entire series, elaborating on the arrival of the Predator on the planet. The leading stars of the film are Amber Midthunder as Naru, Dakota Beavers, and Dane DeLigro. After the first film, we have Predator 2, Predators in 2010, and The Predator in 2018. There have also been Alien vs. Predator movies, seen a classic confrontation between the Predators and the alien monsters of Ridley Scott's Alien. The last Predator movie had been a significant disappointment in the box office, so there are many expectations from the upcoming prequel of the series. Hellraiser. The iconic Hellraiser is all set to get a new reboot and remain of the central antagonist of the Hellraiser universe. This is the first time Pinhead, the leader of the interdimensional group of sadomasochists, who, indifferent to pain and pleasure, will be featured by Jamie Clayton. The actress has also confirmed that the news on Twitter by saying, demons to some, angels to others, while she also holds the iconic puzzle box, which on solving summons the Pinhead and the other Cenobites to Earth. Generated from Clive Barker's mind, the original Hellraiser was loosely inspired by the story The Hellbound Heart, also written by Barker. Though there are some differences between the story and the cinema, the core story revolves around the group of demonic Cenobites who take pleasure in pain. Welcome to hell. David Bruckner, the director of the upcoming film, stated, Jamie fully embodies the role as the Hell Priest. They are aiming to create a very special new chapter in the Hellraiser legacy. It's going to be interesting to note whether Jamie manages to gain the same popularity as the English actor Douglas Bradley, who had been the one and only pinhead throughout the franchise. The new version of Hellraiser is to be written and produced by David S. Goyer, the production of which had started in 2019. The horror fans are pretty thrilled and excited to welcome the remaining versions of the Hellraiser and are eager to see how it performs when placed under the scrutiny in comparison with the original film. The movie is ready to be released on Hulu in 2022. Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Leatherface is back in the upcoming slasher film, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The film, which is the ninth installment of the franchise, intends to be the direct sequel to the original 1974 film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, ignoring all the other films of the series. The movie is written by Fede Alvarez and Rodo C. Egueras, while it is directed by David Blue Garcia. Melody is the central character who moved to the remote town of Harlow in Texas with her presumable disabled sister and their friends, Charlie and Ruth. Her sole purpose of shifting to Hollow was to initiate a whole new business venture, but her dream of a new life soon turns into a nightmare when they disrupt the old family home of a serial killer. Alvarez stated, it's basically the same character who is still alive. He's been hiding for a long, long time, trying to be a good person. These people arrive in the town and are going to awaken the Grant. The story also brings back Sally Hartsty, the sole survivor of the 1973 massacre who is desperate to seek revenge on a deranged killer whose legacy still haunts the local people. The cast of the film includes Sarah Yarkin as Melody, Elise Fisher as Leela, and Mark Burnham as Leatherface. After Leatherface was released in 2017, Lionsgate intended to generate five more films to the series, The Lost Rights to the franchise, eventually acquired by Legendary Pictures. Initially, Ryan and Andy Tohill were signed as directors, but they have been replaced by Garcia due to creative differences. The filming of the upcoming slasher took place in Bulgaria and is scheduled to be released on Netflix in February of 2022. 
Evil Dead Rises. Evil Dead Rises is the next movie on the list, which is the fifth movie of the Evil Dead franchise. The film was written and directed by Lee Cronin, the producer of Robert G. Taper. The plot follows two sisters who reunite after a long time, but their joy was short-lived when they found a strange book that released a demonic invasion. The sisters have to jointly battle the demonic invasion, which becomes very complicated as Elle's older sister is raising her three kids in a small L.A. apartment. We know that the Evil Dead series revolves around the Necroconium and Mortis, an ancient Sumerian text. The text is supposed to be resurrecting the, the demons and wreak havoc unless no one is left alive. The Evil Dead Rises focuses mainly on Beth, who faces the deadly version of motherhood that no one could imagine. Alyssa Sutherland stars as Ellie and Lily Sullivan as Beth. In July 2019, Sam Raimi, the creator of the original Evil Dead franchise, started a discussion on making another Evil Dead film, and he was incredibly keen to do the film with Bruce Campbell, who had been the leading protagonist for the previous films. But Campbell claimed that he had retired and will not reprise the role of Ash. In October 2019, Raimi announced that Bruce Campbell would be executive producer of the film and would not feature in the movie. Somewhere in June 2020, Campbell stated that Raimi had chosen Lee Cronin to write and direct the reboot. Evil Dead Rises. The film is scheduled to release in 2022 on HBO Max. Scream. If Leatherface can come back, how can the Ghostface stay far behind? The Scream franchise is coming back to theaters. The slasher series, created by Kevin Williamson, was first launched in 1996 and was directed by Wes Craven. While among the lead actors, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette, we have the Ghostface, the mass killer who had been terrifying the viewers for over 25 years. He's in the ground. Following the success of the film, there was Scream 2, released in 1997, Scream 3 in 2000, and Scream 4 in 2011. After the 2011 movie, Craven and Williamson were contracted for working on several sequels, but Craven unfortunately passed away in 2015. In 2019, the Spyglass Metten Group took over the rights of the franchise and decided to release a reboot rather than a sequel. 2022 film Scream will be the first in the series to exclude Craven as the director. However, William is still the executive producer. The upcoming film will have two directors, Matt Bettini Open and Tyler Grillett. Also returning to the film is the trio of survivors from the previous film who feature along with the new characters. So David Arquette comes back as Dewey Riley, Courtney Cox, returns as clogged journalist Gail Weathers, and Nev Campbell will once again be seen as Sidney Prescott. Sharing the screen with them will be Melissa Barra, Jack Quaid, Mason Gooding, and a host of other artists. Hence, the whodunit mystery is on as the fans grope for the killer's identity, Admin's connection to the past and present. The film is likely to be released in January of 2022. Halloween ends. Halloween has been one of the most popular horror franchises, spawning extensive number of films. It all began in 1978 with the film Halloween, directed by the legendary John Carpenter. Halloween tells the story of Michael Myers, who murdered his eldest sister, Judith, on Halloween night in 1963. Without any proper reason, he was merely six years old at that time. He was sent to Smith Grove Sanitarium, but he never spoke again. Dr. Sam Loomis, who treated him, stated that Michael Myers was an incarnation of evil. And after 15 years, Michael escaped and went back to Hendonfield, his hometown. There, he started stalking Lori, featured by Jamie Lee Curtis and her friends, while Lori emerged as the sole survivor of Michael's murder spree. There have been endless explanations about the reason why behind Michael's killing spree, and the most appropriate is the one that makes him supernatural. Halloween Ends will complete the trilogy that started with the 2018 movie that was supposed to be the direct sequel to Carpenter's original film. The film sees the return of Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode, along with Kyle Richards, who reprises her role as Lindsay Wallace. As for Michael Myers, we have James Jude Courtney and Nick Castle performing in dual roles. Once again, the director is David Gordon Green, who also co-wrote the script with Danny McBride. Though the writers have claimed that Halloween Ends will closely follow this trilogy, horror fans know death slasher movies will never die and will always make a comeback.
Pantera Fire 2. When most of the major masked iconic villains are back, we conclude the list of the comeback of art, the clown in Terrifier 2. The film is the direct sequel to the original film Terrifier, released in 2016. This upcoming slasher film is written and directed by Damien Leone and marks the return of David Howard Thornton as the art of the clown and Samantha Scafidi as Victoria Hayes. The original teaser for the film shows art in much deadlier attire. Soul survivor Victoria Hayes is mutilated and upon confrontation with police, Art commits suicide. After being resurrected by a sinister entity, Art again returns to Miles County where he is seen busy hunting down a teenage girl and her younger brother on a Halloween night. As Art's murder spree continues, the siblings fight hard to survive while they desperately try to uncover the truth behind Art's evil motives. What if he decides to come back here? I wouldn't worry about it. According to Thornton, some additional shooting was required as the film is supposed to be more than two hours long. Leone had been able to grab extra budget through crowdfunding as he claims that there will be some iconic practical effects that will rule the horror world for quite some time. Terrify 2 was one of the many films impacted by the pandemic as the shooting came to a standstill in mid-2020. The main character, Sienna Shaw, is featured by Lauren Levera, while the role of her brother, Jonathan Shaw, is featured by Elliot Fulham. Leon desires to release the film in roadshow style. Let us see whether that really happens in 2022. Let us all wish you a happy, peaceful, and fruitful year ahead in 2022. With all the horror limited to the upcoming horror films only, let us all pray that the shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic would not bring horror to our lives anymore, and we would freely watch these films in theaters without any fear. Thanks again for joining us here at Marvelous Videos, and may your new year bring you happiness, health, and love. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Not since I was a kid. I'll scream. I'll scratch your face. This face?